them out, things are not going the way I envisioned them. I don't know why God is doing the way he is doing it. Yeah. Doesn't make sense to me. I can't answer for why things are going the way that they're going. I have no idea. I could take the blame and everybody, it's always the blame of the pastor, which is something we also deal with. Rather than admitting that we have our own disagreements or it's our own attitudes, we'll just make, make it known that it's the pastor's fault. And those are parts of pressures. And those are parts of frustrations that pastors go through. And you, it, you're st sitting in service and, and we go to these special services hoping to get encouraged. Amen. And then you find that all these services are being held that churches are growing and flourishing. And you're like, wow, what am I doing wrong? And it was said finally, Pastor, you made it through yesterday. Amen. We're coming to a close of another day. You made it through today. Yes. Amen. 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 We need to learn to sometimes glory in our victories. Right. Yes. Even if our victories are only day. Right. Right. By day. Amen. 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 Sometimes that's all that we can hang our head on. I want to encourage us this evening, if nothing more, but we want to realize something that eventually our days will be accomplished. Right. And it was God. when we, she finally got to her last day, then there was birth. Yes. Right. Amen. Amen. Now, giving birth to a child, you can anticipate nine months out and kind of almost right on the, on the calendar when that might be. <laughs> Amen. But you know, you don't always have that privilege of knowing when things are going to break. The revival is going to fall. Yeah. And growth is going to happen. Yeah. And people are going to come to the Lord. You can't always anticipate right. when that's going to happen. But there has to be finally, at some point, all of our days will be accomplished and then birth will take place. Yes. But we need all these days. Yes. yes. Amen. Amen. To prepare us for those days. Yes. Right. Yes. Amen. Matthew 6.11 is a prayer that says, give us this day our daily bread. Right. We're all familiar with the fact of the children of Israel while they were in the wilderness were fed manna. And every day there was new manna. <laughs> yeah. The old manna was not good. That's right. right. <laughs> Amen. Right. Yes. Every day there was a new manna. Yes. Amen. And they had to go out every day and yes. collect the Amen. new manna yes. for the day. Amen. Amen. That's right. And the Lord provided for it every day. New manna. Give us this day. Every day they went out and there was new manna every day. They didn't have to rely on the old manna. They have to bring out the leftovers. There was no leftovers. Right. I'm not a huge fan of leftovers. Ask anybody who knows, I'll eat them. But I'm just not a huge fan of them. So there are some things that taste better a second time. Then there are some things you just... Mm -hmm. Now that I do a lot of the cooking, there's a few ingredients that kind of stay out of, especially if I'm trying to make something for leftovers. Let me point something out to you. Pastas does not make good leftovers. Yeah. You warm them back up, as far as, let's say, a uh, stew or something of some kind that has maybe spaghetti, or not spaghetti, but maybe macaroni in them. Macaroni turns to mush. Mush. <laughs> to me, that's not appealing at all. When it comes out of the leftover dish in clumps, <laughs> to me, just pulling it out just does not look appetizing. I'm not saying, woohoo, let me eat this clump. <laughs> That sometimes we do because some nights are leftover nights. Why? Because somebody who made meal made more than what we needed so we could have leftovers. Mm -hmm. 
kind of makes the cooking of fresh meals a little easier when you can rely on leftovers for two nights or eight nights <coughs> following the meal. But manna did not make good leftovers. Right. The Word of God said they, they were instructed that every day, don't, don't try to gather more than what you need for the day. Right. No. Amen. Folks, we can learn something for that. We always try to take on more than what we can do for a day. Yeah. Uh -huh. Amen. Yep. <clears throat> Uh -huh. we, we anticipate a workload, and we try to take on more than what we can do for a day. Right. Amen. <laughs> we, let, we just need to realize that there's 24 hours in a day, yep. and there's no need for us to take on more than what we need for today. Because guess what? If we don't get it done, it, it'll be there tomorrow. Right. right. Don't worry. There'll be another day. Uh-huh. But tomorrow is that day that never comes, <laughs> as the joke goes. We always put off sometimes the things for tomorrow. Why is that? Because we try to juggle our schedules and we try to squeeze in more in a day than what we should. Uh -huh. Amen. Give us this day our daily bread. And Lamentations 3 says this, It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed. Amen. Because His compassions fail not. Amen. They are new. Yes. Every yes. morning. Amen. Oh, praise God. His mercies and his compassions are renewed yes. every Amen. day. I don't have to live on past mercies. Amen. I don't have to live on past compassion. Hallelujah. Every day they're new. Yes. Why? Because it's a new day. Amen. Days are gone. Yesterday yes. is done. Yes. We're now in a new day. We need to be able to celebrate the fact Amen. we got through yesterday. Amen. And then we're coming right. through to the end of today. And then we will just worry about tomorrow, tomorrow. Right. Yes. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, if we're not careful, we catch ourselves worrying ourselves sick, mm -hmm. worried about tomorrow. Mm -hmm. right. And we're not even through today yet. Right. Right. Amen. If anything, I'm trying to encourage us to realize and to rejoice in the fact mm -hmm. we're here another day. That's right. Mm -hmm. The church is here another day. Hallelujah. The Lord is here Jesus. another day. Yes. 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 We, we made it through another day. Yes. We, we live on for another day. Come yes. out tomorrow. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We, 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 our, our, days have been, our day has been accomplished. Yes. It's coming to an end. Yep. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Amen. Jesus. We, we, can, we can rejoice in the fact that tomorrow we're going to wake up with a new day, new mercies. New passions. Yes. Yes. New manna. New yes. bread. Oh, it's all going to be new tomorrow when we wake up in the We don't have to live on our yesterday's accomplishments. We don't have to live at our yesterday's victory. We don't have to live tomorrow. We've got to get through. Amen. 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 When we can look back and say, you know what? I made it another day. Right. Yes. Yes. I made it another day. I'm still walking with the Lord. The oh, Lord yeah. is still my Savior. The Lord is still on the throne. The Lord is still alive. I made it another day. I don't have to struggle. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We need to learn to minimize our daily lives. I think, there, I think we fall into the category of the rest of the world when we try to jam as much as we can into one day. Yeah. And the reason why we feel like failure is sometimes because we jam so much in the day yep. that we don't get it all done. And then we're like, oh, uh -huh. what a failure. Uh -huh. I want to stand up here and tell you this evening, you made it through the day. Right. It wasn't the problem that you didn't get everything done. The problem was you put too much on yeah. yourself in right. that day. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it was if it was just a desire to get a bunch of stuff done or if you're like me or a procrastinator where you try to anticipate how much time do you have before you have to get something done. Mm -hmm. And you just make sure that all the things that you need to get done don't all fall on one day. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. That's what we procrastinators do. Procrastination is not a God-given trait, trust me. 
<laughs> and I don't share it to be braggadocious at all. I see it as a flaw of mine. And I'm not afraid to admit it that I am a procrastinator and I will push off as far as I can, especially if I'm given a deadline. Deadlines were our procrastinator's best friend. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They are. Because you know when, when they have to be done. Yep. When is an open ended, and that, and that's the thing, when is an open ended deadline, it doesn't get done. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Accurate. It's true. Yep. Amen. They are new every morning. Yeah. Great is thy faithfulness. Yeah. Oh, Amen. I'm so glad God is faithful with that. Amen. Yes. I need it. Yes. I need new mercies and new compassions every day. Yep. I need it. Yes. Amen. I don't always wake up in the best attitude. I don't always wake up with the with the best with the best anticipation. I don't always wake up in the best attitude. Yep. Amen. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Nora, for that amen. It's true. <laughs> Neither do I always wake up in the best attitude. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> he was a massive fire. You see how I did that? Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh, praise God. <laughs> but the Word of God does give us an agenda for our day. Yeah. And it starts out like this. But seek ye first. Uh -huh. That's Matthew 6, 33 and 34. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. Yes. Right. Amen. And his righteousness. And then it says, and then all these things right. shall be added unto you. Amen. Right. Oh, folks. If we could just focus on that for a minute and start thinking, what are all these things? Yes. Amen. I'll tell you what all these things are. Now listen to me. All these things are the new bread, the mercies, right. the passions, right. yes. Amen. Sometimes we take it, we take God for granted, and think we can just live our lives and just think that God just automatically do His thing. Right. But His Word of God says, No, 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 no. You seek Me first. Right. And then Amen. all these things. That's right. Yep. Amen. Then all these things. So we might, if we're not careful, find ourselves going on day after day after day, wondering where is God? Where is God? What's God doing? And God's saying, where are you? Exactly. Yes. I have yes. all these things <laughs> waiting in yes. store for you. Amen. They're sitting there just waiting for yep. you to put me Amen. first. Right. And if you oh, put me oh, first, yes. then all these things that will be added yes. to you. Yes. Don't Amen. make me the last. Part of your day. Right. Don't make me the, right. the last thought that you have before Amen. you go to sleep. Right. Make me your first thought, Amen. and then your brain, your daily bread will be yes. new, yes. and your mercies will be new, yes. and then the compassions will be new. Yes. Don't Amen. make me your life. Why would you wait till the end of the day right. to put the kingdom right. of God first? Right. Amen. And we'll find out that when we seek the kingdom of God first, We'll find out then how minuscule we put everything else. We put such importance in our lives that all of a sudden it just dwindles. Yeah. We all know the theory, and I, I'm not going to make it our message tonight about giving, but we do know how, how the Bible says you give your tithes of your first fruits, not your last fruits. Right. Amen. And we know that the principle is right. If you do that right, your 90% will go farther than the 100% would. That's right. Amen. What am I trying to get us to understand? If we put the kingdom of God first, yes. the rest of the day will go a lot longer. Yes. And there will be a lot more yep. time to get those things accomplished yep. that we need yes. to get accomplished. Yes. Amen. Amen. Right. When we start putting God's plan first, then our plan will be, there will be time for us to get our plan Amen. done. It's just how God's math works. Right. You put me first, and I'll give you the time to get 
done what you want to get done. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yeah. Verse 34 says this. Take therefore no thought for tomorrow. Oh. And it goes on. Let's stop there. For the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself. And then it, the last verse is this. The last part of that verse is this. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. Trust me. You don't have to go looking for tomorrow. Yeah. Yes, yeah. amen. There's enough for today. That's <clears throat> right. To, for us to be thinking about tomorrow. Right, right. We don't have to go looking for it. Right. It's sufficient is the evil for the day. Yeah. Trust me, you don't have to start looking for it tomorrow. Right. Because it, you got enough today to worry about. <laughs> Just worry about today yeah. and let tomorrow will take care of tomorrow. Right. Because sufficient is the evil. To, if we're spending our time worrying about the tomorrow, we. We get oh we get run over by the evil of the day. Right. Amen. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. Sufficient unto the day is the evil. There are there, there's more than enough to worry about today. Yeah. There's more than enough evil in the day today. Uh -huh. For right. us to be sitting here worrying about tomorrow. Right. 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 I think we need to learn to rejoice in little victories because I'm telling you, folks, if we just put our priorities in the right order, right, yeah. eventually our days will be accomplished and everything we work for will then finally come to fruition. Amen. Trust me, I think if there's nothing more than what the Lord is trying to get us to do, He's trying to get us to put in perspective yes. our lives. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, we have visions, and I talked about those this morning, and dreams, and stuff like that. But guess what? In order for a vision and a dream of the future to come to pass, it takes accomplishment of many days. Yeah. Right. That's right. Amen. You know what? We look back and say, man, oh man, I look back over, over how long I've been in Rhineland, you realize we're coming to the end of 11 years. Yeah. Right. Woo I know, you look at me and go, man, it's been a long time. <laughs> but eleven years, yeah. and it's been a roller coaster ride, right. and we quite—I don't—I do not believe that we've seen the end of our days yet. Amen. 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 And I'm not going to let today be the end of our day. Amen. 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 But we do need to rejoice in the fact that we made it through today. That's right. Amen. Yes. Amen. And then we need to rejoice in the fact that we made it to today, and we have another day coming up tomorrow. Yes. Or yes. if we put the kingdom of God first, yep. and then all those yep. things that God's promised us will then yep. come to pass. Amen. And then eventually, yes. at some point, somewhere down the road, oh, after accomplishing yeah. enough days, yes. then we'll start to see everything oh, we've done come to the Amen. We've got to be glad and rejoice yeah. in the fact we made it through. Yeah. Another day. Don't be discouraged. Right. Hey, I made it another day. It may not be ending the way we wanted it to end, but we made it through another day. Yes. Amen. Sister Charity, you made it through another day. Yes. Amen. 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 We can we cry about the day, but we made it through. Ooh. We're gonna yes. lay our heads down the bed today. Yes. We're gonna go to sleep. It's Amen. gonna be a new day when we wake up. Amen. We made it through. Yes. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. If we're not careful, you'll find ourselves worrying ourselves sick. And we can't even enjoy the day. Right. Yes. Uh -huh. yep. The other morning before we got a bunch of snow, I think it was even Monday morning. I don't remember when it was exactly anymore. But... I will have to admit, last week, or this last week, was a busy week. Mm -hmm. um, I couldn't sleep. I didn't hardly sleep at all mm. while I was there. I don't know. The room was comfortable. I don't know if it was just a new location or what it was. The bed was appeared to be comfortable. Clean sheets, clean pillows, everything smelled fresh, warm. It was cuddly. 
it's kind of quiet. Couldn't sleep. Didn't get much rest. Always going to and fro. Not able to settle down long enough to take a breath. Then to get up and do it all over again. So I don't remember exactly what day it was, but the other morning I woke up and I woke up to birds singing in the yard and my cats are around the house trying to see all the birds. Mm -hmm. I don't know where the birds are coming from and I don't know what kind of birds they were. But listening to them, you know, wake you up. And you wake up to that and you go, oh, mm -hmm. yes. so beautiful. Yes. Right. So nice, yes. so calming. Mm -hmm. You know, the birds are all doing their bird thing. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know how they say it's the early bird that gets the worm. <laughs> so they were all competing against the, each other to get the worm. But it made it for an enjoyable way to wake up in the morning, listening yes. to the birds and thinking, you know what? For some reason, when you wake up in that kind of, everything just seems to disappear. Right. Mm -hmm. Yep. And you just seem to wake up with a smile on your face. As a kid, my parents would always say, you're sleeping your day away. Well, it's only because we knew when we woke up, there was things for us to do. <laughs> the longer we were in bed, the more we got to avoid it. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. It's true. Uh -huh. I'm not going to lie. It wasn't because we were out partying the night before or out, up too late. It was just that we didn't want to get up because we knew if we got up, there were things for us to do when yep. we got up. Because we were always told, once you get up, when you get up in the morning, I have things for you to do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we made sure that. Yep. Moved, moved him. Evil. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> As always, if you want to feel sorry, go ahead. Feel sorry for me. I didn't get to enjoy my childhood. <laughs> I was always told that if I was bored, that they would find something for me. <laughs> never even used the word, I couldn't even use the word bored in my house because it was true that they found something for us to do. Amen. And it was always something we didn't like to do. <laughs> I never saw myself excited to get up in the morning to go do my chores. No matter how great the incentive was, there was never a good enough incentive for me to get up and go do my chores. We sometimes don't like to get up, even as adults, because we know what's waiting for us. Mm -hmm. We can't even enjoy the morning. We can't even take solace in the fact that, hey, it's a new day. Because we can look at it in two different ways. Either today is a new day or today is just another day uh -huh. of trouble and heartache and difficulties. We need to learn to change our viewpoints. It's not going to change our days. It's just going to change the way we see them. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yep. And we, we, need to, we need to be careful to, to see how we measure our accomplishments. Mm -hmm. You know what, I'll tell you what, the big picture hasn't been accomplished yet. And I can't mourn every morning I wake up and say, eh, That's right. it's not done, it's not done. All I can tell you is this, we're one day closer. That's right, mm -hmm. amen. Yeah. Yes. We're one day closer. One yep. day closer. We're one day closer. Yes. Amen. To our days being accomplished. Yes. We're one day closer. Amen. That's right. Amen. I don't have to worry about tomorrow. I just want to focus on today, uh -huh. make sure I... I do everything in order today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. put, put my put my um, my agenda in order today, and part of my agenda is making sure I put the kingdom of God first yes. in yep. the day, Amen. and then everything else will fall into place afterwards. Right. If I do that, and if I can say I at least did got that done, the problem we have is we jam our day so much full of stuff that at the end of the day we don't even have time for the kingdom of God. But I will tell you this, if we put the kingdom of God first in our days, at least we can say when we lay our head down, at least I worship God today. Amen. At least I pray Amen. today. Amen. At least Amen. I got to experience new manna today. Yeah. At least I got to experience the new mercies today. Yes. Amen.
Everything else may have fell apart, but my relationship with God is still good yes. because I Amen. worked it today, yes. this Amen. morning. Amen. I got it done. Yes. Amen. We need to make it part of our daily agenda. Amen. And if we can at least say one thing, we got at least one thing done today. Amen. That's right. Amen. Take therefore no thought for tomorrow, for tomorrow shall take care shall take thought for the things of itself. Sufficient. The day is evil enough. Mm -hmm. Don't need to add to it, but I like this one. Second Corinthians, what it says here. Say it unto me. My grace is yes. sufficient. Amen. Oh. God. You know what? If we live for the day, right. trust me, if we're trying to make God's grace stretch, this is what we do. We make our Sunday night's experience stretch for a week. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Until our next service time. Mm -hmm. And then we make, try to make that stretch mm -hmm. for a whole week. Mm -hmm. Why? Because we're not putting the kingdom of God first mm -hmm. every day. If, if you were to put the kingdom of God first every day, then guess what? Mm -hmm. His grace for that day then mm -hmm. is sufficient for that day. And then the next day, his grace is sufficient for that day. Yes. Then the next day, his, yes. even, even though the evil may be coming at you, and uh -huh. we can't avoid the evil, it's sure. going to be there. Yeah. Sufficient is evil for the day, but sufficient also is God's Amen. grace. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And if we put it in the right order, and we have, then God's grace is sufficient for the day. My strength is made perfect in weakness. Yeah. Most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in my infirmities. Why? Oh. I'm never feeling good. I don't, I don't ever feel good. I, I, we, we need to be careful. Yeah. Because Paul said we need to glory in our infirmities. Why? Mm -hmm. Because in our weakness, yeah. in our infirmities, yeah. Is when we see the glory of God. Yes. Right. Yeah. Amen. Amen. It's in our infirmities that the power of Christ comes through. Mm -hmm. Right. Amen. Oh, folks, there are so many reasons for us to be frustrated with our days. Mm -hmm. But the Lord said that He's provided for our days. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Too many times we try to live for tomorrow. And when we do that, then, then God's glories and God's promises aren't enough because we're always trying to live in the future. Well, let me try it. We need to, we need to become micromanagers of our lives mm -hmm. and realize that our lives are made up of days. Right. Amen. We need to start making sure our days are. At the end, when we lay our head down, we can say, you know what? Let's do this. Did I put the kingdom of God first? Check. Did his man and, and everything else? Let's all check. 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 Guess what? It doesn't matter to me whether I got anything else done. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Amen. <clears throat> Amen. 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 Because we then start to see how all these little things that we put in such importance on um, how in unimportant they really are. Are. Amen. 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 Let's all stand.